Hey everybody, I thought I'd start a little fixing of my journal cover and I decided, oh, I'm going to put lace here, but I decided I'm going to, just because this is so smooth, um, I want to put down some tissue paper just to, I just think it's going to be better for this if I just do like a bunch of tissue paper. So I'm just trying to figure, I think it will help. Yeah, let's go like that. So all I'm gonna do, got a bunch of sponges. Um, I got some, I haven't used, I've had gesso because when I first started Bible journaling, I used gesso on the pages and then I realized I really didn't have to. So I have this Faber-Castell gesso and um, I think I'll do that first because that will help. I can just use that to stick the um, tissue paper down. I found some printouts today that I really like that I'm going to print. I bought some digital printouts on um, Etsy to use in this journal. One is from R.D. Mays, I think it's called. Uh, and that's her Dragonfly, Dragonfly Dreams. So I think that's going to be really good. And um, then I bought the one from Nick, uh, the Booksmith's shop as well. Oh, I didn't, I guess. Okay, that's okay. I feel like things will stick better if I can just use, um, you know, do it this way instead. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Yeah, and hers was, it was one of her garden ones, I think. Um, there's like a whole bunch of tags, which is really what I, I really want, the tags. So, um, because we have a really good printer at work, we have a excellent printer Rico printer um, and so it prints just like, like when I would take stuff to get printed at like uh, the FedEx office store it prints like that quality super good quality super good so yeah but anyway I thought it would be good just to put this down and um, first as kind of a I just felt like it would um, help my page, I think. Let's get some here just to take care of that, <laughs> that little bit that is whoops, sticking up here. kind of want to make sure I... get all these little bits and pieces covered up before I like tear this off. Oops, oops. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay. I think I'll just kind of clean my brush off on here because I'm kind of liking the way it um, leaves a little bit of white on the page. Plus, it's a good way for me to just kind of make sure I get this down really tight. Um, this is what I'm going to do then is just um, tear. Come off because I am going to put lace there. So I do not need, um, oops, <laughs> I don't need tissue paper, like, right that one spot. That was super, super productive, wasn't it? <laughs> Worked better on the other side. Um, anyway, I'm just going to use this stuff and kind of use it as a glue, I guess. Anyway, I think that'll work good. 
Maybe I'll um, do the rest of this. I think my husband's home now, so. Okay, I'm taping. <laughs> anyway, he was down working on the car, so I was just kind of fixing up some stuff on this journal. And I should get a little lace, maybe, and just go ahead and put it on top of this. It's kind of doing this a different way. Let me grab some lace. Um, didn't really plan ahead here. But I have some wide lace. Here we go. I'm going to use on here. It's so pretty. And I'm going to have it like this. Oh, let me get my scissor. Did not plan this, you guys. As I should have. Alright, so put this one here. Right there. Or actually, I wonder, I think I can go like this, and that way I just use one piece of lace instead of more than one. So let's bring this up here, and then let's just cut off the piece I don't need. Um, I don't know if this will make this stick or not, but I figure I can use um, some glue on a part of this, so I'm gonna, let me try some glue here while this all dries, you know. Let's just go ahead and keep doing this and getting that. Just doing some new things. Um, keep trying on this to <laughs> straighten this out. But, Anyway, I just wanted to put something over that. That was my main purpose for that. So let's, I'm gonna lift this up just a little and put, um, oof, come on glue. Looks like I got some glue stuck. Hmm. Be cooperative. Uh -huh. I'm just going to go ahead. I should have just glued. I don't know what I was doing. Well, I think I wanted to cover the spine up a little. That's probably what I was doing. <laughs> So let's put this back on again. And it's gonna kind of be, this I think is better. And it'll dry just fine. It's really wet right now, but it will dry. And it will look super nice, I know. And then I can work on the rest of my cover. So I'm gonna carefully turn off my camera and let this dry. When I come back, um, I will have gone ahead and trimmed all this up. And this will have had a chance to dry up really good. And I think I have a finger I can use <laughs> to turn off my camera. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll be back. Okay. So I got it on, mostly dry. I'm taking this Distress Ink Oxide Vintage Photo and I'm going to, this is from Ranger, and I'm just going to, this is a Tim Holtz um, spun or dauber thing, and I'm going to just do this. Um, just to give a vintagey look because I am kind of going for a vintagey look. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. It looks like I might need to do a little more trimming. I'm trying to keep an eye on this so I, you know, trim anything off that is going over the edges. 
I don't, I've never done this, like this technique I'm doing, like what I'm doing. I just thought, I'm just gonna try this and <laughs> kind of just see, you know, how it goes. It'll probably be fine. I do like pink and brown together too, so I think this will help. I can't really rub it because I think it will, I'm, I'm afraid, well, maybe it'll be okay. Oh, actually, ooh, look at that. That actually looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Ooh, I like that. Maybe I won't cover it up all the way. Like, I was gonna like cover it all the way, but now, I don't think I should cover it completely, because look. See, you discover things when you try new stuff you've never tried before, just to see how it goes and how it works. Okay, let's put this one over here. This is probably bumping that. I don't have my camera as stable um, as it needs to be, obviously. So if this is like jarring. I'm really sorry. I wasn't paying enough attention to that. Kind of just want to, you know, finish up my book here and make it look a little more vintage looking. For this cover prep. I might just do a little bit of tiny bit of vintaging up my lace as well. Why not? Just a little. It doesn't need to be a lot, but maybe just a tiny bit. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. Um, there was a tiny bit here. Scissors in the wrong spot. I did want to kind of chop off that end. It's bugging me. Okay. Okay, so I had some other things I wanted to place on here, and I wasn't totally sure. I've been, I have some textile stuff. And I don't think um, this is really what I want for the outside, so I'm not gonna put that on there. But I do want to put this. This might be a good um, tie. Like if I cut this in half, and like that, I could do a tie on both ends. Maybe if I just like poked a hole through with an awl and just stuck a brad in here, that would be sufficient. That's a thought. Um, I have several things I could poke holes with. So what if I just went like this? I went through or not. Oh, almost. Okay. Oh, I did go through. And I don't think I damaged my pages. <laughs> Fortunately not. And then all I would have to do is take one of these brads. Um, let's do this in a way that I'm not going to have disaster. <laughs> all right. So if I took a brad for each side... I know, I, you know, if I had the stuff for making and eye, doing eyelets, I would totally um, do eyelets instead. I have to get a little container for these. But I don't. So, I think if I just put this through, um, let's flip the book. Ugh. Let's try and flip the book. <laughs> Oh, I still got pieces all over. And then let's just do that. I think that will be sufficient to hold the page. 
And then, it's not done, obviously, but that will take care of tying my little book together, and I'll do the same on the other side. But for right now, I'm going to take it off um, because I can't really decorate well if I've got it on, so we don't want to have that on while I'm trying to decorate the cover, but I know this will work, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I have this piece of ephemera I want to use, so I'm just going to go ahead and it's actually from a picture I had, Cicely Mary Barker's fairies, and um, I want to use it in here just because I just like it, and I thought if I put it in there it would look kind of cool. And I have this pretty white lace. I thought a piece of this on here would look good. And I'm just going to maybe try to rub off the rest of this on here. I don't want it too white. Okay, so I think that's sufficient. So that's kind of some stuff I want to put on there. Um, I want to put some papers and a napkin and I just have some different things like I have this beautiful napkin so I'm thinking like uh, Mod Podge would be super cool and it says botanical botanica which is perfect 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 so let me just do some cutting for that and I'll probably use one on the back as well and then I, um, I have a little bit I can use on the inside. But the cover, the colors, I think the colors go quite well. Um, before I put that down, I was going to put a little bit, like tear some of this paper. Look at it, two different size sides. That's really pretty. So let's just tear couple of pieces off of here, like this. Okay. And another. There we go. That's from one of Flo's big, like, their big book of paper. That's what this is from. So, um, I was thinking I had to decide like when I want to mod podge this down and I need to separate. There we go. And separate this. And I really, really like this. So the one that says botanical, that's the one I want here. And the other one I'm gonna just put up like this way. And this one down here a little bit. And then I can put um, some of this torn paper on. I'm really, I was really thinking this picture. See, this is the quality of my work. Printer prints, like right here, this quality. Super, super good quality, I feel. And so I thought... Maybe if I just tore a little bit of one edge, that would be really pretty in here. And a tiny bit, let's just tear a little bit of this edge, too. And then I thought that would be super cute, like right up here or somewhere. Maybe right here, and then put this here. And bring this lace in, and let's put um, like this lace right here. Okay, and then come with this picture that I like so well, and I'm gonna just tear this edge. I decided that would be the best thing, and put this picture like right here. Like do this here and then just put this picture here. 
Then I could do some kind of a, I forgot about this. I wanted to do this too. Um, this could go here. That lace is peeking there. Um, it's either gonna be that side or this, this side. It's kind of hard. Or I could just go like this whole length. Let's try that with this one. Um, or like right here. Maybe I could do it here. What if I went like this? And then I went right here. And then I took a little bit of that one up there. Kind of maybe have it like this. And then put this bit here and put this bit on top of it. Put this here. And then I could find a little um, doodad or something that would work there. You know, I'm not going with that. I'm just not feeling that. I'll just skip that piece for now. Okay, so I got to remember I got a hole I'm punching over here, which is fine. That's not a big deal. Let's put. Th we'll put this here. We'll put this here. And we'll put this maybe right here. And then I can find something really cute to put up there. So that's what I'm thinking. And then back here, we can do a little bit different and we can go more like this. Or let's see, I kind of want this one up further. We could go more like this for the back. Put this paper here and let the napkin be there and maybe just put this here and then I could find um, another picture I could put there I think yeah cuz I you know I did think of this down here instead and then this up here and here and here like this or like that this little bit. I feel like I should keep my paper the same. Kind of like this maybe. Maybe that's better and I could put something else up here. And then over here, let's just keep this super simple on the back and just go maybe go like this. And then we can put a little bit of this one up here, maybe like that, and then I can put something else down here. I'm thinking I like that. Okay, let me see what time it is. Um, 14 minutes, so and the nine, so not bad. And then I'd kind of like to put a little bit of this twine um, on here as well. So I'm going to kind of fiddle around and figure out a way to put this twine on. And then I've got these pretty letters I would like to put on as well. So I think I have sort of a plan how to do this. And I think... I have to think, oh, you know, here's a bit of lace. I could just put this lace on, like, afterwards. But I probably should, like, let's get it. Tiny bit of this stuff, because I do have a little bit. We can just kind of, there. Dirty that up a little bit, and I think, I think this is going to work. Where is my big Mod Podge? <clears throat> I have a Mod Podge that's smaller, but I like to take that one on trips. So just this mat Mod Podge. And I got big brushes that I use. These brushes I use for when I'm doing Mod Podge. This one's pretty stiff yet. 
but they seem to work, you know, they're just cheap brushes and that's probably the best thing to use. So maybe if I can figure out a way to like just move this the way I want it over here. And that's at the top, and this is here. Maybe I can make this work. Oh, and maybe I can get there. <laughs> get the lid off of this thing. This poor Mod Podge has not been used in a while, to say the least. So, yeah. Let's just... I know this is going to give kind of a shinyish look to everything. Um, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Not not really a big deal in my book. Just going to kind of figure things out. So this one was going to go more or less right there. So first things first. Let's just smudge. Pudge this baby down. Even though this is matte, it still has kind of a almost a shiny surface to it, even after it dries. I like to be a little careful with napkins. They do tend to tear if you get a little rough with them. And I just so I don't want to get too rough. And then I was going to do, let's see, this, right? Wasn't that what I was going to do? Put this piece down here. Okay. And let's make sure we got stuff on this because the next one is this one. So we're just kind of going to keep layering on the things. Now I did say I was going to put this like right here. Okay, and then this was going to go like right here, something like that. Okay, so now let's just get this, make sure we get everything down. This is will act like a glue and it will dry clear. It'll have kind of a different surface to it you know when it dries so it's going to look different I don't think I did very good with this one <laughs> mm, it's not going the way I want it to there but anyway well dry clear I promise let's go ahead with this and do this side And we'll just put that paper down and go like this. I'm just going to work really fast because I want to be able just to put everything down and not worry about it. And so that's kind of what I'm doing. And I think I was doing a Kind of like this, right? Can't remember. We'll just go with it. Okay, so get some Mod Podge down on that. Be sure you get plenty here. The napkin, I want to be sure. Here's this little bit. It's going to stick up if I don't get it. And I can fasten down with glue anything I don't manage to stick the way I want, you know, if I don't get it as well stuck as I would like. And then I just have to dry this and it will dry just fine. Okay, so anything else I put on here, I'm not going to put on with Mod Podge. So I am done with my Mod Podge. This I didn't do very good because this is not, oops, doing what it was supposed to. So I'm just going to take my fingers in there and just make it lay down um, the way I want it to. Because I don't know what else to do. Anyway, 
getting junk all over my fingers again, right? Seems to be my thing. I have a couple stickers I want to put on here. Maybe I don't. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I have some cute little rose stickers that maybe this would be fine to just put them down with my fingers. I don't have to like worry about them any other way. Um, special moments. Just kind of stick a couple of things in here. Um, let's see what else. What else do we have that would be fun uh, to put in here? Just loving these little roses. I think they're so pretty and if I just like pat them down I think they're gonna be really lovely um, addition to this book. So I'm just taking them off this little the sticker pack and I'm just going to be putting them all over before I do any drying and I think I got them all let me look I think I have all the flowers let's put the word love in here too because why not with this Mod Podge this is really the perfect time to do this come on cooperate <laughs> There, I think that's good. Everything else is fine. I'll leave the rest because I'll be using these um, in another way. So I think I'm good. Um, I, you know, I had thought of putting down this little bit of lace, and I think I will. I think I'll just go ahead and. Put it right here. I'm thinking this is perfect. There. Yeah. Okay. Keep cleaning my hands. Okay. So that's, I think that's good. I'm going to um, dry it up real quick. So hang on. Okay. So here we go. There it is. I'll dry. Um, I can just pick it up. And I've obviously got more work to do. I'm not done. So um, I'm going to be doing something here. I might do washi, but um, I might do ribbon. I don't know yet. Probably ribbon. Because obviously when I had it like this, you couldn't see that that was not done. So that will be something I will be taking care of. And of course we have to decorate um, the inside cover. Some of this is not totally dry, um, so it does need a good drying. But I definitely need to put something here along with that lace to make this work. And then, of course, I'll be putting the ties in, and we want to decorate the inside covers. But yeah, I definitely need to um, put something here. I wonder if I have some fat ribbon. Something that would be really pretty. Hmm. This is my ribbon box. Um, now I do like this. I got this from somebody, and this, but this would not um, cover it up all the way. It would help. I could put it here. I'm going to use it for part of it, but I'm not going to make it the main thing because I really need something there. don't want to use my stretchy lace. I mean, I have some of this lace seam binding type stuff. Um, here's one. Um, here's this blue. I got these at a thrift store, you guys. Oh my gosh. Um... That's actually really pretty, isn't it? That blue. 
that blue kind of brings out the blue and I actually like it better than the pink. So this may actually be the best option. And um, maybe the easiest thing to do, because I know the glue will dry, so I'm not really worried about the glue th coming through to my lace and then having, you know, some issues with that. Um, it doesn't bother me too much, honestly. Let's see if we can. Come on. Because if I look here, this is how my lace is going to sit. Um, this glue is getting towards the end, which is why it's having its difficulties. But I'm going to persevere. <laughs> Probably like way more glue than I possibly need on this too. But oh well. Oops. Plus I'm gunking glue where I don't want it. Oh, baby wipe. Tell you what, these wipes, wipes are the best. And I keep mine fresh up to a week in this little jar. So I can't complain. But anyway, this is what I want to do. I just want to lay it right there. Right here. And I'm going to cut that off. Okay, so there's one. That's not all I'm doing. It's not all I'm going to do, you guys. I want to put a little bit of something. It's just too nice. Wrong color, wrong color. Let's see. I got so much stuff sitting in here. And I got stretchy lace, but I sure don't want to use stretchy lace. I have lots of that. Um, I just want a thin, thin lace. Maybe this brown one to come right here. I know this is super lacy, but it's okay. And it covers up. Then it covers up all that. Because really, I'm trying to cover this up. Anyway, there you go. And that has to dry, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And we will check it out some more probably tomorrow. Bye.